Yeah. Well, and again, there are, there are, there, there are, I've been fortunate, I think, in my career to have that far more, uh, many, you know, many more times than I ever didn't have it. Um, and, and, and yeah, and Brett was one of those guys. So, and I think everybody would be certainly on paper. You look at Brett and I, and you go like, oh, it's no stretch to head chemistry, but you know, you'd be surprised every now and then you could run into somebody with, with, you know, as much talent, but you, it just isn't quite there uh, the same. And fortunately, yeah, Brett and I, heck, we knew that from the first time we ever got in the ring together. Uh, you know, I think in a tag team, it's one of those things that you do, you, you, it only takes just a, you know, a couple touches of one another and you know that, oh, okay, there's something special here. This, you know, you, you, you file it away and you know that this is going to come, uh, you know, to fruition in an even better way, in a more positive way, uh, in the future. And 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 again, that's something that uh, Brett and I had. And again, I, I was, you know, I, I had that with Jericho. And I, again, I was fortunate to have it with, with with a decent amount of guys. But when you put together, certainly the ability, uh, you know, of a Brett Hart, and you know, and. And, and and certainly what I like to feel like I had, you know, I had okay ability too. So oh, you, yeah, of course. you have that and then you've also got chemistry with each other. It's it's a pretty tough combination, you know, to be. And with you, I always think about anybody you put in the ring with Shawn Michaels at pretty much any point in your career, it was going to be a good match. You throw you in there with Psycho Sid, who's a completely, obviously, different wrestler than Bret Hart. Somehow, you know, he's going to have an awesome match. Kevin Nash, awesome match. Scott Hall, awesome match. Triple H, uh, throw in Mick Foley. I mean, they're all great in their own right, but it's always the same common denominator that Shawn Michaels was also in that match. What do you think is, is kind of like your legacy in wrestling? Is it that, oh, my God, like he can adapt to anybody, have a good match with anybody, he's the best ever? Like, what do you think is, is your legacy? Because you're definitely up there. You know what? I, I, I'll say this. I'm... I, 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 been doing this so long that and that question's come up so much that it's almost gotten to the point where I, you know, I don't even give it a thought anymore because the, you know all of those things it's in the eye of the beholder it honestly is for me I, I it's impossible now for me at, at my age and again I've been like this since you know since I came back in 2002 to not honestly look at the whole thing Remember how it started, which was again, you're too small, and uh, it's going to be very tough. You know, if you if you can just sort of make a living doing this line of work, you will you know, count yourself pretty darn lucky. And it you know it went so far beyond that. Again, I broke in when it was before it was even big. It was 1985. It was just starting to again. You know, there was this crazy promoter in the Northeast that was going to, you know, have this mm-hmm. idea about taking wrestling worldwide, but oh, what a huge risk, and it was it was horrific, and he was ruining the wrestling business and all of those things, um, and so for me, that's, again, it is, it's very hard for me not to look at stuff from the, from the very beginning, um, and it is so far in a way, again, I, you know, I know, so I have a wife and a family, and, and we live a life that we absolutely never thought was ever going to be possible. And so I don't, you know, and, and I guess because of that, it's it's very difficult for me to think about a legacy in, and again, I don't mean it to ever be disrespectful of the wrestling business, but it's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's an entertainment line of work. It's, it's not based on any kind of reality and, and I, do my best to judge my, my life and my worth by, you know, again, by what I have, you know, in my real life, my, you know, my, my family, my, you know, uh, my job. I've got, you know, I've got a wonderful family. I have wonderful friends. Um, and, and, and so far it's been a, it's been a pretty special life. So for me, um, that's a success and it's all the success that, that I need and where everyone decides, you know, the wrestling business and the opinions on me will go up and down and be positive and negative and you know, I will be the greatest by one guy and I will be so overrated and average by the <laughs> next guy that it's 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 really difficult uh 
I would think for someone. I think if you give that stuff too much thought, man, you're you're like a, a boat on the <laughs> you know on, on the washing waves, man. That's no way to live. <laughs> 